15 miles. Um, and I guess for the biggest thing is don't leave me. Teamwork. Teamwork. Alright. Sorry, my GoPro made some of this stuff upside down. Yeah, so I didn't think I'd be able to get over this wall here. It's at least a good six or seven feet tall because I'm 5'1", and it was definitely taller than me. So looking at it, I was a little freaked out at first, but I finally tried it on my own, and I was going to see in a couple seconds here. made it over all by myself. I was kind of excited about that. This next part, the, um, the intro speech, is it has to be one of the best um, free race I've ever had. I'd be able to see better if I was taller. first obstacle <laughs> and I guess you don't get to see much because the camera is um, actually on um, kind of like close to my chest area with the harness so you're underwater right now but anyway I'm um, crawling underneath a bunch of barbed wire so I had to go low I clean off the camera every time though not much for myself as you can see I'm crazy muddy <laughs> But that was the first obstacle. I think it's just to get you nice and wet and cold. But it's plenty hot out. This was uh, July 21st, 2013. Um, it's advertised as the Minnesota Tough Mudder, but it's actually in Wisconsin, which is, I don't know, false advertising. Anyway, so we jog a little bit here. I cut out between those just so that it doesn't bore the crap out of you. But, um... The next obstacle is called the Arctic Enema, and it is aptly named because it is cold. Yeah, anyway, so you basically wade through a bunch of ice, and people go incredibly slowly, which gets you stuck under there. And then you can't just kind of, like, tippy-toe either. I mean, it's the water's almost as high as I am. But there's a board partway through that you actually have to go under, so you get entirely dunked in this thing. And they say, you know, you don't have to do everything, but I did. This 
Just gorgeous views though. Lots of helicopters, lots of trees. There's only one thing I didn't get videotaped for you guys, and it's the very last thing, but I mean, I already went through it once in the video too, towards the end. Um, and it just was a second high voltage electric shocker, and I just pretty much ran through it. It's not too bad. I mean, it kind of makes you, um, I don't know, makes your limbs jerk a little bit at, at most. Just kind of numbs things out a bit, but I had already gotten hurt by the time I got to the first high voltage, so by the time the second came around, it was whatever. Um, I would fell down and kind of was bleeding all over the place. And then immediately after that, went through the, the high voltage stuff. And so the pain just kind of like numbed it out anyway. <laughs> Today is actually November 24th, um, I'm going to be heading out soon, I'm looking at more houses, I really want to buy one soon, I have a whole list made up and an awesome realtor, but um, I don't know, just figured maybe I'd start keeping a bit of a video type diary thing on here. The last I don't know, month or so has been kind of boring compared to my summer. My summer, I mean, I did 15 of these adventure races, and by adventure races I mean lots of mud, lots of obstacles, long distance. So I was just to do the Living History Farms race this weekend, yesterday actually, and the world froze over, or at least my world. Friday we got um, snow and ice and everything else, and um, after this tough mudder race, I got a little sick. I got bit by a tick during this race, and I didn't work out as much as I usually do. And it's so, I don't know, last month I just started to feel better and everything, and I don't know, I didn't want to, like, go running through ice water and start that all over again, so I skipped the race. I'm a little disappointed. It would have been a lot of fun, but, I mean, it's crazy snowy gross outside. Um, it's gotten better today, but there's still snow on the ground, and I could barely go outside without feeling like my eyeballs were literally freezing, so... I skipped. Next weekend is Thanksgiving. This is the Arctic enema I told you about. I don't have a big plan really for Thanksgiving. I was thinking um, of going to see my dad, but it's kind of far away, so I'm thinking maybe Christmas for that. So I'll probably do what I did this weekend, stay home and play with my little rump Charlie. So, yeah, fun times. I'm going to go get ready for house hunting um, more later.